I'm going to show you how to set up the PipCam camera with the Pile IP Pro app. So first thing we want to do is we want to connect a wired Ethernet connection and power to the back of your camera. So on this model the power port is going to be the furthest on the right. Just plug it in there, you'll see it light up green. Add your data cable. And what we will see is the yellow light start to flash. That's showing that we're getting data here. Next thing you should see is that the camera will pan and rotate. And the red LED indicator will start to flash on the front. So next we're going to open up the Pile IP Pro app and click to add a new camera. We're going to scan the QR code, flip through the options here, click next and next. Then use your smartphone's camera to scan the QR code on the bottom of the PIP cam. You can rename the camera to anything you choose. And then you'll have to type the manufacturer default password, which will be PileCam, lowercase p, or admin, depending on what version you have. So here I do recommend you change the default password to something only you would know. This will keep your camera secure. If you tap on the entry for your camera, you'll be able to see a live feed right from it. Next, we'll want to set your camera to work on a wireless connection. Make sure your smartphone is currently connected to the wireless router that your camera is plugged into. Also check the wireless antenna is installed firmly on the adapter at the back of the camera. Next, tap Edit, Set, and scroll down to Wi-Fi setting. Here you'll see all the wireless networks within range. Select the wireless network you want to configure your camera to and type your wireless password. Once entered, the camera will count down from 60 as it restarts. For pan and tilt models, it'll run through the full range of pan and tilt. Make sure you don't unplug your camera from power or the wired Ethernet connection during this time. Once completed, you should see the connected status appear next to your wireless network name. So now that we're connected to the Wi-Fi in the app, we can unplug the wired Ethernet connection. So see the yellow light went out, but the red light on the front of the camera continues to flash. Your camera may restart at this time. If it does, allow it to run through the full range of pan and tilt again. Once it's finished, we'll be able to access the camera wirelessly. Select the camera and allow it to load. If you have any trouble with this loading, try restarting the app or clicking the refresh option. Let's go through some of the camera options. Go to edit, set. You can check the SD card that you've inserted. Here you can switch between the 24 hour recording mode and the motion detect. Go to detection settings to change the sensitivity and to enable email and push notifications. You can also set a recording schedule. Schedule the start and end time for the recording and also the days of the week you'd like it to be triggered. Motion detector 24 hour recordings are recorded to the SD card and can be accessed through the app. Once saved to the card, go to the SD card section and you can load up any of the videos that have saved from the motion detect or 24 hour mode. It's best to use this setting on Wi-Fi as it is data intensive. There are a variety of options you can use to control the camera right through the app. Select left and right pan to automatically pan the camera left and right. You can also hit up and down to pan the camera up and down and a combination of both if you wish. Also you can set the camera to record locally to the app and take snapshots. These you can view in the photos video section and you can save to your camera roll and edit or delete them as you wish. Also you can change the camera quality settings. It's recommended to set it lower if you're having any trouble with playback. You can also set and save preset positions. To do so, put your camera in the location you'd like to save as a preset and select set preset position. Select the number slot you'd like to save it to and do so for multiple positions. Then you can recall the presets by using the Go Preset Position command. Also, you can customize the feature icons in the Operation tab. You can hide commands, move them around, and bring them back by clicking the dot dot dot. Check your camera info under the Info tab. So that should be enough to get you started using the Pile IP Pro app. If you have more questions about alternate configurations or options, take a look at the links below or on pipcamwireless.com for FAQs and questions. Thanks.